Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 5 Volume 2 Career Mode here on the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we are going racing at one of my favorite tracks here, uh, Kansas Speedway at the Mile and a Half D-shaped Oval. What a race it was in real life this past weekend, by the way, as you see the current finishing orders of the trucks and Xfinity races coming into this episode in the background. Check out that new paint scheme. Actually, I made a paint scheme for once, actually, here. You can see it in the background. Uh, you guys already know. I'm a big fan of the chain smokers and it is a chain smokers so far so good paint scheme which is their brand new album by the way scan that qr code at the top of your screen now here as we were underway for our qualifying attempt here in kansas hoping to put this so far so good chevrolet up towards the top 20 at least we've had such a up and down season so far we come to the mile and a half in kansas and really not sure uh what to exactly expect from this car but in qualifying at least it was a 22nd place effort here for the this digital ally 400 qualifying uh at kansas speedways we're going to check out the rest of that qualifying order we're going to be starting on that same row as joey logano but kevin harvick william byron kyle larson our teammate of austin Dillon, martin truex jr your top five truex returns from injury here finally following two extra races that we didn't expect him to sit out for but he is finally back here and ready uh to put up a good effort in that number 19 car and prove that he still deserves to be in that 19 car uh, as we saw ty gibbs of course behind the wheel of that 19 car in the last four episodes and he really did a superb job ty gibbs did definitely was a contender didn't win any races but nonetheless was still uh showing exactly why he's dominating in the xfinity series and very well proving that he is worthy of potentially a cup series ride if he works on his attitude and behavior a little bit here now as we're ready uh, of course to get rolling here and as you can see josh balicki with an unapproved body modification during qualifying so he'll be starting at the back although we already know that car was starting at the back anyways no matter what it's kevin harvick william and byron get ready to lead the field to the green flag hopefully we can of course uh, work our way up into a top 10 position. I've always been a fan of uh, Kansas because I can get up right by that outside wall and run that all race long. And you guys know right off the bat you're going to see me doing that here as soon as I possibly can. And we have the preferred lane for myself. One of the few tracks that I prefer to start on the outside as we are finally underway down towards turn one. Chase Elliott uh, won recently there in Talladega Super Speedway. So watch out for him today. Maybe got a little bit of momentum now. Chase Elliott does on his side. Certainly don't want to give Chase Elliott momentum. We've seen what happens when you do that i mean he had a late championship run of course in 2020 that was really fed off of momentum there as we're going to go down into turn three daniel suarez our affiliate teammate or alliance teammate there at track house racing in their debut season we're going to try and blow the doors off of that camping world chevrolet as we exit turn four and immediately i could tell uh even just after one lap that we had quite a bit of speed in this 27 car definitely more than what we qualified that kind of speed so i was looking forward to this race based off of just one or two laps here you can see how easily we close up to the back of that four of Chase Briscoe there through the center of the corner. We were now three wide in the middle. Then I kind of back out of it, get back up to the outside there. We're going to try and just cruise around that number 43 there of Eric Jones. And you see Cole Custer actually right now on the move on the inside. For me, I just, I can never get my car working on the inside here when it comes to Kansas. It doesn't really matter how good my car is in all the races we've done at this track in the past of this NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Whatever I do, I just cannot get this car uh, or any car to just work on the inside of Kansas. But that's okay because the outside is a very strong option that really works here in Kansas Speedway. And like I said, when I have an opportunity to go to the outside, I obviously take it here now on lap five, passing Alex Bowman and his Hendrick Motorsports teammate here. Uh, but Chase Elliott, we were talking about Elliott and the momentum are right now not looking like he has any on his side here. Uh, we would pass Ryan Blaney as well. So up into the top 15 here on the P13, trying to run down our teammates of Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick and whatnot here as we complete the seventh lap, 12 laps to go in the stage. If it stays green, there will be a very very borderline field situation, but I think we will be able to make it here on field without any issues. Now, it's Christopher Bell is going to go for a ride into turn one. Suarez is going to get a bit of it too, and the caution's going to fly, and Bell goes around, gets contact from the 78, and we saw Cody Ware as well, and there goes the 66 of Timmy Hill piling into the side. That 20 car destroyed. Caution's out, and that's going to be the end already of Christopher Bell's night. So we get ready to go back green here. No pit stop necessary as that caution uh, confirmed everybody to be able to make it to the end of this first and opening stage and we would get back underway. It's going to be nine laps to go in this first and opening stage. William Byron up front. Byron already 
with a victory this season. So he is logged into the playoffs in that Exalta Chevrolet Camaro. And you look at Hendrick Motorsports right now, they all look so strong with now Byron and Elliott as winners. Larson and Bowman haven't won yet, but Larson is at the top driver without a win in the points. And then Bowman's been a little bit hit and miss, kind of like what you usually see from the 2021 season with Alex Bowman. He's either winning or he's really sometimes struggling, uh, but sometimes, of course, he has a good run in there as well. Uh, as we come through three and four, though, side by side with Eric Amarola, three wide with him, actually, and Matt Benedetto in that number 21 machine as we come through this trial, completing this opening lap of the restart. And we have nearly gotten ourselves now into the top 10 of this race. So an opportunity here maybe to get some stage points finally in stage one. All of our teammates in the top 10 as well. Austin Dillon holding on to 10th place briefly as Benedetto though is going to look to the outside. And Dillon would actually get past Martin Truex Jr. Uh, Benedetto kind of went on the move here. So I was down to 12th place and here I was now fighting with Truex and actually a fight with Kyle Busch as well. We were three wide with Truex and Kyle Busch as we went down this back straightaway here. And I would just continue using that outside and just really waiting to see what would happen here. I was trying to work with my teammates of Austin Dillon instead of really go against them. So an opportunity did arise for me to blow by Austin Dillon and then get back into the top 10. But I knew Tyler Reddick, my teammate right now, outside of the playoffs, not by a whole lot of points, but he is outside of the playoffs. I wanted to help Reddick get as many points as he could. So I decided to kind of uh, ride behind Tyler and more or less help him here on this final lap of stage one. That way, you know, the one or two extra points that he could possibly get from me not trying to pass him really could be the difference maker on if he makes it into the playoffs when we get to say the Daytona uh, regular season finale here later in the season as we come through three and four for the final time. Dylan on the inside. We might get one point here. We're going to get right to the back bumper of Tyler Reddick there. Give him a little bit of a shot to the bumper as we head down this front straight away to cross the line and we will just barely get a stage point there over Austin Dillon as we cross the line for that 10th spot. So overall I mean, a solid, solid stage one for us here in Kansas. We started 22nd. Uh, we end up P10. So clearly, there's some speed in this car. Now, I definitely felt like that was probably just about as far as this car could really go. It kind of felt like we had found our spot in the grid right there in around 10th place here. So we would come in, of course, for four tires, two cans of feel. I did move the grill tape up by 5%, so from 35 to 40. And that was the only change I would make to this car because overall, uh, the car felt pretty good it was driving really nice here i just i could get to the outside and really get the grip going here and just get this car turning well it was rotating well through the center of the corner etc everything was just kind of working out here as we would get back underway for the start of the second stage no amped here today in kansas but we'll try and bring it back for the darlington throwback race in the next episode i do have uh two throwbacks ready on the way here for this season because we do have two races at darlington obviously the first one is considered the main throwback race but i am gonna have a throwback probably later in the season at darlington as well as i've got had a couple of community members in the Discord server uh, actually make some throwback schemes. You can also join that Discord server. By the way, we're close to, I think, 500 members now, so make sure to join that up. Link in the description here as we continue on. Right to the back of that, number 23, Dr. Pepper Toyota Camry of Bubble Wallace here now. Uh, P13, so not the start we're looking for in this opening lap. We go from 10th to 13th here, so uh, we got to get back up at the south side just like this and just get this car rotating and just rolling on this top through these corners. Get the momentum built up here on the exit down the back straight away and you can already see that momentum on our side here as we close in on the back of that 23 of uh, Bubba Wallace there uh, great to see Bubba run so well in Kansas in real life by the way and obviously not just Bubba but 2311 in general but felt so bad for Bubba getting absolutely just his race ruined by his pit crew once again this season Bubba Wallace has done so well uh, just had so much bad luck on his side unfortunately here as we continue on our stretch forward and this is a nice stage going for us so far you can just see things were going well we're gonna go into the top 10 here right to the back of Cole Custer who is in need of a good day here in Kansas and currently Custer's having a respectable run inside the top 10 here as we're three wide with Custer and Truex in the middle there's our other teammate there of Tyler Reddick here with nine laps to go in the stage so halfway through the stage Kozlowski briefly uh, would take the lead of this race he was fighting alongside Denny Hamlin it was kind of a Kozlowski Hamlin show in this second stage so far uh, as we continue to just try and slowly pick off a spot or two and we're up in now P8, but still battling side by side with Custer. Kurt Busch here in the mix as well, Tyler Reddick, etc. But the caution would actually come out here late in stage two, bringing everybody into the pit lane here for two cans of fuel, four fresh tires, and whatnot. Uh, and I believe it was actually our teammate of Austin Dillon who brought out the caution, as he would actually unfortunately be out 
of the race. So not what you want to see, of course, there uh, for Austin Dillon. But we're going to get back going here. And finally, this is like the first race ever where I'm finally getting to restart consistently in the lane that I prefer to be in here. We've had like all outside line restarts, I think, so far. The original start uh, and the couple of restarts in between as well, including the stage restart here. But we only have three laps of racing remaining here in stage two. So we got to get up on it here. And I can confirm Austin Dillon, sure enough, was the reason for the caution. Unfortunately, Austin Dillon is out of this race. So one of our cars gone. Uh, and now just two RCR machines remain on the track with the eight of Tyler Reddick, who's directly in front of myself here now. And we would already settle out here to the outside. And once again, kind of in that position where I saw an opportunity to help Tyler Reddick maybe get an extra point or two. So coming to the final lap of stage two, I would just stay in behind that eight and say, let's try and help him get maybe one or two extra points here. Now down into turn one, you can see up ahead, Hamlin continues to lead the way uh, on the exit of turn two, but he's in a side-by-side -side battle with Kevin Harvick, who started on the pole, of course, in this race there as Matt Benedetto gets clear. So we're going to go down into turn three. I still want a stage point myself, so I'm going to sail it off into turn three. Three wide with the Benedetto and Custer trying to make the inside work for the first time tonight. Will it work here? We're pretty even on the exit of turn four with Custer as well as the Benedetto to the line. It's going to be close, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. We're going to get P11 here in this second stage from Kansas Speedway. So just short of some stage points, our teammate of Tyler Reddick there uh, got P8, so three stage points to him. Another thing to note there, Martin Truex Jr. in his return from injury, uh, having a respectable seventh place run right now. And do you remember what the way it works in this game? Uh, when you get injured, a driver replaces you, they still score points for that driver. Uh, so Truex is still inside the playoffs uh, pretty comfortably. Actually, not very comfortably. I think he is actually towards the bottom now that I, I uh, think of it here. But once again, we get back underway for the start of stage three. 25 laps remain here with this so far so good Chevrolet Camaro. You saw a stack up right there with Reddick on the outside. We're going to go down into turn one alongside. We were talking about our luck on these restarts being on the outside. We don't have that luxury this time around, but if we can get clear of Cole Custer, we do actually get clear of Cole Custer. So we can down this back straight away going down into turn three, do this right here. Jump back up to that outside and just get into that lane that I'm comfortable with. It just when we tried the bottom there in stage two on that final lap, once again, I just didn't feel it in the car. That's why we couldn't complete any passes right there. We ended up still P11, but as we can just use this outside, we're going to be fine. Kyle Larson up there in the mix right now alongside Kevin Harvick here going for a potential first race win on the season today is Kyle Larson. William Byron's up there in the mix and of course Denny Hamlin's been up there in the mix all race long as well here as we settle in behind that number 8 of Reddick here down the spank straight away. He's going to leave that outside open into turn 3 so I'm going to try and hop on that opportunity here uh, and see if I can move up into ninth place but like I said uh, at the conclusion of stage 1 we really felt like we had a 10th or so place car. That's kind of where I could get and then I really couldn't get much further uh, than ninth 10th place and I you can see that right here 20 laps ago and we're still running in that 10th position here it just really wasn't changing so the immediate thought I had was okay what do we got to do with the pit cycle here if it stays green we will have a green flag pits up do we want to maybe try the short pitting strategy and that way we can try to gain a few extra positions that way and hopefully have so few laps that the other drivers that pit after us um, don't have enough time to run us down that was kind of what I was looking at here so I was already preparing to pit and here we were with six laps of fuel remaining in the car and lap 53 coming to 14 laps to go. I decided, you know what? Let's pit right here. So this is going to be about four to three to four laps at least earlier than the AI I was anticipating coming into the pit lane. So we're going to come in for a can and a half of fuel and two right side tires, which is going to equal up to about a 9.1 second pit stop. And hopefully, of course, no caution comes out. That's the big thing. You take the gamble here when you come in uh, for three to four laps earlier than everybody's. There could be a caution that comes out uh, in between that and then you get trapped a lap down here as we go down into turn three now fortunately if a caution did come out we were in the lucky dog position so no matter what though we would be stuck at the back so that would be very frustrating there because we'd have to work our way through traffic but we're not going to worry about that because we're going to anticipate it staying green flag racing up until the end of this race and as i say that there's smoke up ahead chase elliott loses a tire into turn one in kansas where have we seen that before and lajoy is going to get collected and go into the outside wall as well the caution flies and we're a lap down we get the lucky dog every Everybody has to come into the pit lane. I come back in because obviously the best we can do is start at the back here. So I said throw four tires on it uh, and fill it up with fuel. And unfortunately, our top 10 run might be in jeopardy now because we're starting all the way down in 38th place. Chase Elliott actually remains in this race here in that uh, number nine car here. But you can see on the top left there, we're only going to have nine laps of racing now to try and go from about 38th place to a top 10. 
Now, it is certainly possible. We have proven we have a fast car here with the so far so good machine. So hopefully we can utilize it to the best of our advantages here uh, on that outside now as we come through the center of one and two. What a beautiful view out the back. Unfortunately, that's not the view out the front because the view out of the front is, well, that right there. A lot of cars. Cody Ware, three wide with him and Chase Elliott as we head down into turn three and immediately we're just going to get up on this outside and just start making some headway here to the outside of that 78 of BJ McLeod. You see uh, Chase Briscoe having a bit of a rough run here today in that 14 car. He's been up and down this season too in his rookie season. He's had some decent runs. He's had some really rough runs. That's what he's having tonight there. Ryan Newman in that number six. We're going to go below the doors off of Ryan Newman as well. Finally, we're not stuck battling Ryan Newman for one of these episodes like we have been a couple of times. I think what at Martinsville uh, and maybe Richmond as well if I'm not mistaken here, but we were making some headway. We got into the top 20 by the time it came through to the end of lap 61 coming to lap 62. So only about five laps remaining in this race but we are on the move. What was also benefiting me is usually I was uh, no confirmation but usually when the AI pit that late in the race uh, they don't take four fresh tires so they were all likely on two fresh tires compared to my four tires so that was also helping out uh, very very significantly here as I'm going to go to the outside of Austin Cindric pass him up into the 15th place we go but we only have a few laps to go. Denny Hamlin leading the way here in these closing moments we run down uh, Ryan or Ricky Senos Jr. not Ryan Priest and Bubba Wallace as well. We're going to give a big push there to the back of that 47 Kroger machine and then as we came through the two laps ago, we hadn't made any more progress, but we finally get to the outside of that 47. We're going to go around the outside and clear him and alongside Kyle Busch. White flag in the air. Denny Hamlin leads the way and is in position to win this race. A, t a 10th place finish is possible. But we're going to have to hope the 10 and the 41 get battling side by side. That's the only way it's going to happen here as we come through the center of one. Out of turn two for this final lap here from Kansas Speedway. Hamlin leads the way into three and four. And there you see Custer's going to maybe leave the door open. Yes, he is going to leave the door open there for Eric Almarola. And I have a lot of momentum building up here on the outside here as we come through the center of three. Out of turn four for the final time. We're going to dive down to the apron here. It's going to be three wide to the finish now. And we're going to barely get 10th. And we're going to actually have a post-race accident here as we go crashing across the line but we managed to get 10th place by like a couple uh maybe a hundredth of a second it looks like it's a hundredth of a second the gap between myself and Cole Custer but a photo finish there is Denny Hamlin wins the race by the way for uh that uh, Joe Gibbs uh, and FedEx team of course as you can see the rest of the finishing results there with Austin Dillon Christopher Bell at the very back of the grid with DNS but you know what what a rebound there to go from 38th to 10th place right at the line I mean so so good that we had that extra lap there uh, and that the 10 and the 41, the two teammates actually uh, got battling side by side. There you see the point standings. So we now have two multi-winners this season in Hamlin, uh, as well as Kevin Harvick. Reddick is now 20 points out of the playoffs. So we helped him get a few extra stage points. Hopefully that will make a nice difference later on. Austin Dillon now down in 15th. But as always, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time of your day for watching this episode. In the next one, we have the throwback race in Darlington. I can't wait for you guys to see the new paint scheme there. And we got some new paint schemes in general on the way that I can't wait for you guys to see. But that does it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and have a great day, everybody.